Thank you guys for being here. How are you guys doing? You guys good? You good? I, uh, I'm not from Atlanta. I live in New York. And uh, I was in New York, and I was waiting for the elevator, right? And uh, the elevator comes. There's only one person on the elevator. Uh, it's this old, 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 old white woman. Just the first white woman. Uh, Eve is on the elevator. And so I step onto the elevator. The elevator door is closed behind me. Eve looks up at me, and she immediately grabs her purse tighter. Right? And I was like, wow, that's crazy that, like, even now, there's still old people who don't know how elevator works. Because even if it was my plan to steal her purse, I would have been like, This thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what do I do, you know? There's only three floors this elevator. I'm not gonna yell at an old lady, but she just did this weird thing. I feel weird in my head. I'm like, what do I do? So I farted on her. And like, <laughs> uh, it was a quiet one. It was, uh, it was as silent and subtle as her racism. It was. <laughs> Neither one of us got off that elevator happy. We were both very upset. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think family is important. I think it's the most important part of the human experience because family teaches you how to deal with people you would never talk to otherwise. You know what I mean? Like, not everyone's got that uncle. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like me, my uncle, if, I, if we weren't related, no, not at all. If I were on the elevator and I saw my uncle coming, I would hit closed door in his face. I'd be like, no, no, that looks like a problem. No, thank you. I don't want to have anything to do with that. If I were just sitting in a car and my uncle was passed by, I would lock the doors in front of him. I'd be like, no, you look like you have a question. And I can't... You know what I mean? Because I can't speak to you or your family. I don't know what it's like to be me, you know? But for me, in my mind, uncles are like dads that never made it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Like, your dad might give you a sip of beer when your mom's not looking when you're 14, but your uncle would be like, this is crap! Like, those are... <laughs> those are two very different individuals, two very different lanes. One should not be picking me up from school, you know what I mean? Like, because my uncle will try to give me advice, but, like, he is so clearly inserting himself in the advice he gives me. He's literally plugging in his own life and talking. He's not listening to my problem at all, you know? So I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. I was talking to my uncle. I was like, hey, uh, it's been a good year. Things going well for me. I'm just worried about the future. What's going to happen next? I just want to be happy. What do you think I should do? And my uncle's like, you young. <laughs> you got prospects. <laughs> Fuck! That was the entire conversation. I was like, 